If you're in the market for Fallout 76 in-game items, head on over to Easy NPC, where you can save 5% by using discount code 1986. If you want more info or you want to head over to the website, you'll find a link in the description. Hey guys, my name is PSR1986 and today we're coming at you with a relatively old glitch. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's a brilliant way for you to farm some high value materials as well as some legendaries. It's an awesome XP farm. It's a great opportunity for you to take advantage of the score system at the minute. And basically it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do is you want to build some form of base like this which we're effectively calling a trap and it's not a player trap it's going to be a trap for the bloat flies that we're going to be spawning in the middle of it now what a lot of you might say is oh this has been out for ages we used to do this before but since one wasteland there has been an update where the the enemies have been scaled up so before whereas what you were getting was going to be level 27 bloat flies spawning in the middle here instead we're going to be getting level 60 and plus and for this to work all you're going to need is one of these it's a bloat fly syringer it's relatively easy to come by check on google how to find them if you want to but basically you just get a syringer get 11 bloat fly glands and then you'll be able to build it from there and then what we're going to do is we're going to head into an area where somebody has nuked the area get one of your buddies to launch a nuke and your base is going to spawn inside the nuke now another little tip we're going to give to you here is how to survive in the nuke zone without power armor so basically go into the nuke zone take some rads find out where the edge of the rads are and step back so that you're quite literally on the cusp of the rad zone so as you can see what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at this rock that's going to give us a bit of a guide as to where we need to go Take a step in, we start getting rads, slowly start taking our steps backwards until we reach to the point where there is no rads being taken. You then take out your power armor, tap on L1, I think, or L2 is the one, to send it forwards a little bit, just so that when you get into it, you're stepping into the rad zone and then into your power armor. And what this does is it completely uh, gets rid of the, the, the rads that you're taking while you're in the rad zone. It acts like you're in your power armor. Step a few, a few paces forwards, jump out of your power armor and there you have it I'm in the rad zone taking no rads so let's head on down to the base okay so we're here in the base we're in the middle of the zone we've got three of us here and what we're going to do is going to place down a uh, Brahmin. Now I'm going to place down a free Brahmin because I've got the blueprint. Go check out Glitch Unlimited channel. Uh, he will show you a guide on how you can do this. Um, he's also got loads of other content. I'd really recommend checking him out. Um, but basically what we're going to do is going to throw down these uh, Brahmin here so that we get three or four Brahmins showing up. And then we're going to jump up here. And our two buddies are going to be shooting these uh, Brahmin with the Bloatfly Syringer. Now, if two people shoot one Brahmin with a Bloatfly Syringer, two will spawn, as you can see here. Um, and then for every Bloatfly that you shoot with the Syringer, at least another one will spawn out. So if two of you shoot one of the Bloatflies, two will spawn out of it, as you can see here when we're doing this. Now, we're just going to speed this bit of the video up because it's quite long-winded long and lengthy. But you just continue to repeat the process. Two people shoot with a bloke fly syringer, one person kills. Now the more people that you've got in the server doing this with you, the more and effective it's going to be. You're also going to get one and two star legendary spawning in this as well as you'll see at the end of the video with the loot that we garner from all of this. Um, it's pretty amazing really what you can get. Now like I say, they're maxed out at level 60, they won't go higher than that. But whereas before they were level 27 and any legendary items that you got from them were leveled to that as well, these are all going to be max level legendary items so long as your level is high enough for that to count. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure they've got no junk on us, we're going to get rid of a load of stuff, make sure that I'm not um, gathering a load of this material beforehand and so on and so forth. And I'm going to get rid of um, all of my legendaries as well so that we can see what kind of stuff we're going to pick up from this. And then we're going to go down and we're going to collect up. Now it's not just, not just going to be me collecting. Um, Kev and my buddy Lamb as well are going to be collecting all of their loot as well from all of the meat piles that are remaining in this area. And what I would say is sometimes these meat piles will not just spawn down in the centre but they can also spawn just outside of the walls. They can spawn floating. It all gets a bit crazy as I'm sure you can imagine with the amount of um, 
meat piles that you can see there is. And we were only doing this for around about five minutes. Um, all in all, I think the amount of time that we spent shooting was about five minutes. This video length was probably around about uh, 20 minutes long, but a lot of that was prep and so on and so forth. So, what we're going to do now is the guys are going to drop what they've picked up. So we'll have a look at Kev's bag here. He got 57 bloke fly glands, 117 bloke fly meat. He got a bloody Gatling plasma two star, uh, and then he got some other one star weapons and a two star piece of armor. Now these ionized meat are amazing because they don't go off. The high radiation fluids you can use for making stable flux, but you can also sell them into vendors for a hell of a lot of money as well, or caps, should we say? And let's have a look at what Lam has picked up. So he got a two-star piece of armor, he got some one-star weapons, and he got a, a similar amount of glowing mass, glowing meat, hardened mass, high radiation fluids, and so on. But the best thing about all of this is that we can then take these, we can put on our uh, scrapper perk, which we're going to do now. And obviously, for those of you that know, which is 99.9% .9 of you, um, Scrapper does increase the amount of materials that you garner when you break things down on a workbench. So we're going to move over to Junk. The Blowfly Glands is going to give us 352 acid off just 5 minutes worth of it. And the Hardened Mass is 126, which is going to give us 126 Ultra Sight. Now, like I say, this is just 5 minutes and there was only 3 of us. Only one of us was killing enemies, the other two were doing the Blowfly. If you've got two teams of four, you've got your buddies in with you, you can increase the yield from this exponentially. So that's it guys, hope you found the video useful. Thank you very much for watching to the end. And like I say, if you do like it, make sure you share it out and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.